Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. Today I will show you how you can actually crack a Wi-Fi. Today we will actually get into it now that all the prep work is done, now that we have all the tools installed and our system set up. The first thing that we will need to do is uh, set, set our network wireless card into monitor mode. Type in ifconfig, press enter and this option will display all the network interfaces that are available. My wireless interface is called VLP2S0. A bit of a strange name, I know, but Fedora has a custom for giving strange names, like my wired connection is called P8P1, which is kind of weird, but okay, never mind. Just see which one's your is and how is it called, and adapt accordingly. Anyway, I'm going to use VLP2S0. In order for me to configure it to function in monitor mode, uh, there are two ways. So the first one the first one is what I usually use to set it in monitor mode, and the second one is what I usually use to actually check if there are any problems of whatsoever. So go ahead and type in IV, nope, ifconfig again, VLP2S0, which is the name of my wireless network, which is the name of my wireless network card and type in down let's bring let's shut our wireless card down completely let's turn it off and now we can do some modifications to it type in iv config vlp2s0 mode monitor moni monitor again if config vlp2s0 up and now our network card is configured to function in monitor mode while on the other hand, while before this it was functioning in the promiscuous mode, there are several names for it, but promiscuous mode is the most common. And the difference between the two operating modes is that one mode allow. And there you go. I have my wireless connection deactivated in the upper right corner. The difference between the two modes is that in one mode wireless cards are or general network cards are configured to accept all packages regardless whether they are meant for them or not and in promiscuous mode they will only accept packages that are meant specifically for them. Now I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen and I will finally start using uh, some of the software packages that are that come with aircrack. I have a list of commands here for you which we will use today on my right side and we're going to use a few few other ones but these are the basic ones these are the ones that you absolutely need to know so let me just go ahead and type in airmon dash ng vl oops check vlp2s0 i want to see if there are any uh possible processes that could cause problems that would cause interference and i see that there are quite a bit of them now one of the first things that you need to kill is the network manager or you should because even though it doesn't actually directly interfere with the functioning it does spawn some other processes uh, that might interfere like the like the your active internet connection here the DHC the DH client uh, especially if your network manager is configured to automatically connect to a certain network or to a wired network that you've plugged into your computer so let's just go ahead and kill. I'm not going to take any chances today. I'm going to go ahead and kill the network manager and then I will start killing the rest. So let's repeat the airmon-ng check. Excellent. Now I have a few more of these. Next one to kill. You do need to kill them in a certain order though because uh, they tend to spawn each other and you kill a process but you type, you do a check once, once more and you realize it's still up and running even though you've killed it as root it will be it will kill it but it will restart it as well let's we'll just go ahead and kill the DH client as well in order to prevent any interference and the rest of killing can be done in any way you like so kill let's just go ahead and kill 15 15 56 15 56 12 15 and 12 16 and 12 sorry 16. Excellent. Let's do a check one more time. Oops, some of them are still up. This is this is what I meant. It is highly annoying. So 15, 56. Let's see, will this work? Awahi demons are the only ones running. Apparently I have to kill the VPA supplicant first and then I can kill these. And it can be frustrating primarily because you can't kill them all at once. You gotta type in 
uh, commands time and time again. Excellent, no such process running. There we go. Uh, let me just go ahead and clear the screen and always perform an extra check. You see, nothing has popped, nothing should present any problems now. Let me just go ahead and clear the screen. The next thing that we want to do is perform a scan of our environment here to see what sort of connection, what sort of networks do we have and who is connected to which network. Now this you cannot see with Network Manager. With Network Manager you can only see uh, active wireless, uh, visible wireless hotspot, visible wireless access points around you. While on the other hand with Aircrack, with Air, uh, with one of the tools that comes with Aircrack, you can actually see not only access points, wireless access points around you, but you can also see who is connected to them, which is a very nice feature. So I'll just go ahead and type in the first command from my selected list here. It's aero dump dash ng vlp 2 s 0 vlp 2 s 0 is our interface. So airmon dash ng oops dash ng uh, vlp 2 s 0 present oh yeah not airmon sorry aero dump aero dump dash ng vlp 2 s 0 there for a bit of inconvenience with my talking and writing. Never was good at that. But you can see here, these are all the access, wireless access points. This one is mine. It's called something. That is, that is the, uh, I've created this specifically for this purpose, for this tutorial. It has a good, pa it has a good password, strong password, and we are going to be cracking it today. Keep in mind that the signal strength, uh, you see, okay, let me just cancel the scanning process now and I just want to explain a few things that you can see here during the scanning process itself. So the BSSID is the MAC address of the device which is a wireless access point. Oops, let's just move this out of the way. Excellent. So the BSSID is the MAC address of that router, of that wireless access point. The PWR is the strength of the signal. So the smaller this minus is, so let's say minus 30, uh, minus 15 is a lot better than minus 30, let's put it so. Minus 57, you're going to have, uh, it's not going to be the best of connections, minus 78 or minus 84, uh, yeah, you might be able to connect to them, but this is not going to be a good connection at all. However, even though the signals are this weak, if you have a good enough wireless card, you will be able to perform the authentication and therefore I will be able to render any of these networks that you see here pretty much inoperable. But that we will do in the later tutorials for the time being. I just want to show you one of the ways in which you can actually crack the VPA2 encryption. Uh, the DOS attacks are very useful. I mean, they can practically render almost any Wi-Fi network out there useless. Nobody will be able to connect to it or you can deauthenticate a specific client on the network which is also extremely useful. So let's just go ahead and clear the screen. Once again I will run the aero dump and I will expand this terminal so we can see some other things as well. So it says something it's 90 F6. I am looking for something to be associated with 90 F6 six and that is what I shall use in order to actually uh, deauthenticate because we are looking for a four-way handshake it will appear in the top right corner there we will be able to see all the packets that are coming in and there we will be able to actually capture a file and see what is going on but that is uh, that is not possible to do at the time being, primarily because we are scanning for pretty much every single network out there and I just wanted to show you how it looks like. The next thing that we need to do is perform a specific scan. So now we will be targeting this network here as it has a good signal and more importantly than that I have a permission to do whatever I want with this network as it is mine. These down below are not mine. Also keep in mind that we are not doing anything illegal here, or anything of a kind. Everything that you see here is pretty much public information because this is what all the Wi-Fi uh, routers around me are broadcasting. They are broadcasting their MAC address and they are broadcasting the name basically. The SSID, 
name is not a technical term. ESSID is the term, but everybody, I don't know, refers to it as a name of a wireless access point or something of a kind. Anyway, as I said, all these are public information. This is all that Wi-Fi spots around me are broadcasting. And this sort of information you can also see on your cell phone by just using the network manager or you can use a network manager in your computer and you will see pretty much the same things you will see that it's vpa2 encryption you will see the mac address and you will see the ESSID. of course this is the the ESSID will be the first thing that you see on the network also you will see the channels as well uh these stuff in between don't you don't have to worry about those they're not that relevant for our purpose today Anyway, I will call the tutorial here and in the next one we will be performing a specific scan where we will capture information and use that capture file in order to crack the encryption. Till then, I bid you farewell and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.